With Rick Bowen, and Rick will be inducted into the Wisconsin Basketball Coaches Association Hall of Fame on October 3rd. First, Rick, congratulations. Why don't you give us some thoughts about the induction? Uh, thank you, Jim. I'm, I'm very humbled by the whole thing. I, I, uh, sometimes I wonder on, on these things if it's if you're really worthy or if it just means you've been around a long time. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm, I'm very I'm very humbled that the Wisconsin Basketball Coaches Association thought enough to do this. Rick, you, you must have been influenced by many uh, teachers and coaches that you worked with. Uh, who did that? Who helped you influence your philosophies? Well, one that no one has ever heard of, a man by the name of Keith Doherty, who was a uh, high school coach at the neighboring high school, in Anthony High School from, from my hometown. I did my student teaching under him. Uh, uh, I believe if there is is one man that got me off to the on the right foot as a 23 year old kid fresh out of college and teaching me the right way to do things, I, I, I think it would have to be him. Uh, being a being a Hoosier, an Indiana high school basketball coach in the 70s, to say that uh, Bob Knight has not had an influence on me would be uh, uh, would also not be a true statement. Rick, the uh, Falcon basketball program struggled as far as wins and losses go. What were a couple of the keys to turning the program around? Well, uh, you know, good players, I think, are what, what makes a difference. Uh, uh, taking the program from, from a, a, a perennial eighth and ninth to, to fourth and fifth, quite honestly, wasn't that hard. Cracking at one, two, and three, I found to be extremely extremely difficult we we had some we had some great runs uh obviously you know the 20304 championship uh, uh, and and you go back there to uh, Richard Melzer and, and and just a tremendous tremendous supporting cast from from Michael Helfrey to CJ Becker to to uh, Billy Halter to just all the pieces just really fit Ricky, you amassed the most wins in Falcon basketball history in your career here at UWRF. There must have been dozens of games that stand out. Could you mention a couple? Well, um, I'm going to mention two really good ones and, and, and one really bad one that, that stick out. I'll, I'll get the bad one out of the way first. That, of course, is the, anybody was there, the, uh, the game when uh, Kent Becker, I just really feel bad about bringing it up. Uh, uh, never has a game been more won than that one when he intercepted an inbounds pass and threw it into the ceiling and they hit a half-court shot to beat us in, in, in the playoffs. Uh, uh, that game will always stick out in my mind because it was it was such a, uh, it was just like it was almost predestined. There were so many, so many things that had to happen right for Oshkosh that just plain happened. Um, that would be one, uh, I think in 1991, uh, Dean Cook, Rick Montreal, uh, uh, Kevin Larson, Eau Claire came in here, uh, the number one rated team in the country. We were down eight with two minutes to go and came back and, and beat them. Uh, that was a tremendous, tremendous highlight because one of the few times in the early days when the gym was full. And then, of course, the 2 championship game against... Uh, Against Platteville, that uh, when we when we won it all and, and things happened, where uh, what Stevens Point Whitewater also got beat, and we didn't have to share it with anybody, and it was all ours. Rick, you've coached thousands of student athletes in your college and high school career. What stands out for you in working with young people? Oh, I, I love the locker room. I love the relationship with the with the with the kids, with the players. I love practice. But as funny as this is going to sound. Uh, uh, <laughs> In the summertime, uh, going to their weddings, going to their getting announcements on there when, when, when they've had kids. But you go, you go to a wedding and you see a River Falls basketball guy up there that you brought to school, probably marrying a River Falls volleyball player. And, and uh, you, you see the wedding parties lined up and you know that those kids all became lifelong friends because uh, uh, they came to River Falls and, and you had a little bit of an influence on that. Uh, that may sound awful, awful corny but that's, that's the truth.